What you think, what you think about When you're born into a fire Let them burn, let them burn it out Sell them to the richest buyer Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the CSC Season 15 Prospect Tier Match Day 5, uh, or excuse me, Contender Tier Match Day 5. We've got ATL versus All Good. Should be a big shoot 'em up here. I got my co host Atrax here with me, who's got some information to share with us as this tech pause gets underway. Hello, fun stuff. I'm Atrax. Uh, it's Match Day 7, I believe, by the way. Not uh, not five, but that's okay. Either way, we got ATL versus AG. ATL is one in five currently on the season, only winning against the Lawless Llamas, thirteen to seven on uh, nu Nuke. Am I reading that right? Mirage? No, that's Nuke. I think. No, that well, they're is not Mirage. spelled similar. On so I, okay. it's Mir no, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the logo. I can't see what the on my little uh stats screen here so that's mirage that's not nuke that's mirage okay so they beat lawless llamas on mirage and tony j who is on this atl team played 25 combines in this preseason uh one of those random stats that i just happened to find as i was browsing preparing for this match tonight 25 combines and then to uh be here one and five in the middle of the season is you, you grind it out, you, you do what you can, and it's a bit unfortunate, but it's not too late to turn it around and still make it to playoffs, but you got to start winning here, and AG is a tough team to beat, because even their wins have been pretty dominant, aside from t Cal match day two, but even so, that was 13-11 on Nuke, so... And I would also make the argument that, like, once you get down this low in the season, you are no longer in control of your own destiny when it comes to postseason. Like, you are very much at the mercy of the of the Counter Strike gods. Like, 
there's mm -hmm. not really a whole lot that you can really do to still make the postseason. So all they can really do right now is just keep their heads down, keep winning, and hopefully the dominoes fall into place for them. Yeah. And if you're on the AG side, you don't want that to happen to ATL. You want to keep winning because four and two, they're currently fifth in the standings. So even though they're playing against ATL, like you certainly don't want to lose this match because the next couple of matches, you're not playing any of the top teams. Really? They're playing, let's see here. Oh, no, wait, this is ATL schedule. Oops. AG, they're playing, oh, no, they are, they're playing OS, who is above them. So they want to, They if you're AG, you definitely want to win here so that you can win against OS and at the very least tie them up in the record and try and, like, fight for that spot. But, Crash, it looks like we're getting into the game here. Yes, it does appear so. And, again, when it comes to Dust2, right, the biggest thing that we've got to keep an eye on is long control. Long is the one spot on the map that you absolutely have to maintain control of on all sides of the coin. Minute 46 left to go as we see the opening rollouts. We have no sound, so you have to bear with us here for a moment. Rockin'. Drops Kaladex, and Toby will take down Rockin' as well from lower. So, that'll make a quick 4v4. Minute 29 is a uh, very firm log control has been established for all good. ATL's going to have to work to get it back. It looks like they're trying to work up Cat as well. Toby's pushed all the way through T-Spawn. He's called out Beta Xander's position. And as more kills ring out across the map, things are getting interesting on Catwalk. And Toby finds himself the last man standing. Takes down Beta Xander. And now Samus will get this bomb down. So, one versus one to start off this nice little round. Yeah, this is the first real rifle round out of both sides. After all good, taking the first two. ATL needs some momentum here. Samus winning this round would be absolutely huge. Nades the smokes, sees the barrel, finds the headshot. Tovi goes down, and Samus will win the 1v1 to give ATL their first round. And that's where you want to start off. If you are on ATL, don't let the pistol and the... Subsequent, I mean, we didn't get to see the uh, whether they got plant or not. So, you know, depending on how the pistol went, you let that second round by team kill just shake it off. Get it the third round here for ATL. And neither of these teams have played Dust 2 in the season yet. So, could be a surprise here for ATL. Kaladex would be out. Oh, big kill right there for Kaladex. Minute 42, completely blind, nails it off muscle memory. Toby will take one down elsewhere as well. Tony J, local grinder, hits the deck. And now minute 30 left to go. Oh, Toby, this is bad news. He pulls the nade out. Rocket with a bomb on his back, trying to make a play. And Levander will, ac er, yeah, Levander will accidentally take him down. And that's bomb. Oh, Samus goes down. That's bomb invader. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Has bomb on his back. Gets the smoke down. Passes in front. Tries to fake the plant. They're going to swing out a window and smoke at the same time. A great kill from Kaladex to make it 3-1. Yeah, my apologies. That <laughs> When he died, the little box on the minimap looked like the bomb. I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's that's a bit unfortunate. Four sirens and Kaladex with that great opening kill just blinded on the op. And that's uh it's a rough way to start if you're ATL and you see they immediately try to go the back to B didn't work out. And is Kaladex gonna do it? Oh almost. Almost gets the man in suicide. Invader now leading his team into tunnels. Nade drops back, does no damage. Minute 38 now. Everybody's just kind of hanging out, waiting for the aggression. They've kind of narrowed it down to where the enemy is. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before they start to collapse in on ATL's position. They got to get moving, and Toby finds one. Nades the smoke, expecting more top mid, but he doesn't know that they're all in lower. 
And now they are out there waiting in CT. Tony J finds Kaladex, but Telvi comes to the rescue. They will not get their hands on the AWP. And with the bomb being thrown out tunnels, Beta Xander has to try to do his best, but it won't be enough. Tovi finds him as well. 3K for him in the round, and all good are up 4-1. 12 and 2 to start the first six rounds of this dust two for Tovi. Solid hold here. Just wherever they go, the sirens getting shut down. And I if your team killed, obviously this is what you want. You just want a strong CT side. No messing about. They kept four alive on that last round. And they swooped up the op. So we'll have to see again what can Kaladex do. Samus here. Out B doors. Oh, oh Kaladex! They need to stop challenging him. They've got to go more than one man at a time. And Tovi establishes control in mid. Minute 35 left to go. ATL reeling from the absolute shock that the defense has put on him here tonight. Still, a lot of round left to play. And a lot of counter-strike after it. Minute 22 left to go. Beta Xander in lower tunnels. Finds one over extending its Tovi. Got a little bit too aggressive, and he was forced to pay for it. And he's trying to find it as well. Beta Xander will find another. And he'll find another as Samus goes down as well. I think it was all... the first advantage for ATL. Yeah, it looks first time ATL's had man advantage all night long. They have to capitalize. They are taking their sweet time. Big kills from Beta Xander in this round. Does we find the other two to make it an ace? This would certainly give ATL a massive boost for the rest of this game. They boost up on Xbox. Keep flashing CT. That's going to be important for maintaining Kaladex's attention. And now he quick scopes one, but he won't be able to get around the corner. Rockin trades his teammate out. Very well played from ATL. And now it's Dregs to try and take on Rockin and Beta Xander. Just under 40 seconds left to play. This would be yeah, so being... brutal if Dregs pulls this off. Hey, you never know. He sprints through the smoke, sees one on sight, hasn't seen the other car. Now drops down, this has been heard. Or has it been heard? It has. Beta Xander finds the man. And with a 4K on the round, puts the team on his back to get him to two. Oh my goodness, absolute domination down in the tunnels. You saw that it wasn't really a, a necessarily coordinated effort. They just kind of swung one by one, one out B or mid doors, excuse me, one out from the connector uh, catwalk position and Beta Xander there in B tunnels just tapping away in sirens. I think this is a great decision to call this time out here, especially after you won the round. Just let team kill kind of sit in it and talk it out now you've got an awp you've got some rifles and spawns kind of spread out a little bit so you could go wherever you want whoa hang on germ's got himself a ump that is an interesting call i don't think i've ever seen that in an actual league match before at least from the booth i know i've seen it in person a couple of times but that was a very long time ago back when it was the meta you're seeing two of them look at that Kaladex has i one know as well. yeah Kaladex has one as well trying to save up for that awp flashes out molly in place atl seems a little bit more lax on their ramp control toby's got one toby's got two swings out a lower finds himself a double kill with a little bit of help from germ and now atl once again on the back foot going into the next part of this round samus has the awp but dregs has the angle rockin hits the floor invader finds the trade but now it's 4v2 and they know where one is Samus now running into suicide. That's heard. Germ is about to swing out for the kill of a lifetime. Swings out, sees it, but Samus makes the play. And now he swings out of long doors and finds one. He knows there's another plus. Swings out, can't find the kill. Tubby takes him down. And now with just under a minute to play, Samus now has a one versus two with a game on the line. He needs to get the bomb. He does find the bomb, gets through the doors. But he's got a man waiting on him in car. And I think that is just what HD Tempo wants. He's just waiting, waiting, waiting. 
Samus, he thinks he has all the answers, but HT Tempo changed the questions. Five to two, your new score is all good. Will bump themselves up another one. And again, just another great play from Tovi. Now 16 and three, eight rounds in. I mean, Sirens, they wanted to keep the momentum going, especially off of that timeout, but can't do it with Tovi in the server here. Just absolute domination so far. Now the question 16 is and like... three in eight <laughs> rounds. That is unbelievable. My Oof. goodness. And then, I mean, look at now Sirens, they're forced on an eco, right? And they're, they're spread out. No utility whatsoever. I'm not and sure this is... uh, what they're looking for. Uh, I tell you what they're looking for. They're looking for Tovi, and they're not finding him. They are going to find Dregs, however. Top mid. Bomb hits the deck. Beta Sander is isolated. He's in a very, very bad position. Dregs swings out, finds the headshot. And now Samus is left to pick up the pieces in mid. Germ sees him cross. But now they're just going to be easy pickings in lower tunnels as they all collapse from bottom and top mid. Tony J finds one. Will not find the second. HD Tempo and Dregs clean up to make it 6-2. I'll be honest. I'm not sure what the pistol strat was there. Like, I, you... You literally have no utility. It's not like you're trying to fake or anything. Were they just... I, I don't know. I guess they were just playing angles trying to, well, maybe get a cheeky kill or something. But team kill, like, you're, they're playing a little sharp here. I don't think that's going to really get them. And, I mean, obviously it didn't. Look at that. Five alive. And here we are, 6-2. Yeah, it's... Uh... Not looking good for him to say the least. They're looking at a tie half at best, and that's really not what they need to get themselves back into the game and back into the season. Telvi now here on Cat. Oh, that nade's going to be a problem. Nades the smoke, fights one, and oh, almost pre fired Samus coming around the corner. But Samus is able to find the kill. Takes him down through the smoke to make it a four versus four. Dregs. Waiting on the molly. Sama still paranoid of position. And rightfully so. There is a man on catwalk. HD Tempo lurking around the corner. Minute eight seconds. That Xbox smoke is going to fade. Dregs is going to fall back from long. He knows that they're, they've taken mid, but they do not have long control. Again, we were talking about it before the start of the game. Long control is the most important part of any Dust2 game, especially from the T side. Because now, you've just lined yourself up. They know exactly where you are. There's no threat on any other side of the map, but it may not matter. Tony J takes down Kaladex, and Samus takes down HD Tempo. Four versus two. They're going to get the bomb onto the B site. And Jerm is going to wait for an overextension. He hears one walking around in car. But it will not push into tunnels. And that's kind of going to be what he's counting on. Samus makes some noise. Dropping mid. Dregs paranoid as stairs. Hunch is a little off. Half the time on the bomb now. Looks like all good are just going to save this one out. Looks like they're willing to take the 6-3. Yeah, smart decision. Money is not great, even though it's 6-3. And, I mean, we'll have to see what the... Actually, no, they don't have any loss. They're so winning, right? So... Oh! Ooh. Yeah, you really My wanted goodness. to keep that rifle. I mean, oh. you'll be fine, but... Terrorists win. Well, will you wait? Germ's got 1,700. Drex, you need to stay alive here, bud! Oh, Ooh. my God! <laughs> Lordy Lou! That was hey. very close. Yeah, if I'm if I'm germ there, I, I'm extremely upset. That is unbelievable. The shot that Beta Xander just hit. The, and well, and it's <laughs> that's a good thing if you're Beta Xander, right? Like, and if you're cheering for this Sirens team, this is like this is the round you need to win. This round here, if you want to have a strong half whatsoever on this T side, because you lose this one. You're already 7-3, your eco's not great, and they're pushing up Cat. Yeah, and again, take a look at the bank for all good here. They lose this round, it breaks them, swings out, Beta Xander means business, takes Tubby's head off, and now Kaladex has been smoked as well. He looks to play forward against the smoke, but it looks like it's just going to be a full Cat take, and HD Tempo will be the man 
to take first contact. Now we're just waiting, getting into the phase of the round where everyone's just kind of waiting for the other guy to make the first move. Molly lower tunnels with your teammate pushing the position. I'll admit, not the smartest thing I've ever seen. Interesting choice. Yeah, definitely an interesting choice. Possibly a miscommunication. We'll never really know. What these guys are thinking. 53 seconds is germ. How in the world did he get up there? He must have been boosted. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember seeing that in the beginning of the round. Especially because HD Tempo was at cat so fast. But he looks like he's just going to tuck in Goose. Dregs is forced back by Invader. HD Tempo and Kaladex both finding kills. Swinging out from mid, getting aggressive. They spam the doors, hit him once, but not again. 25 seconds. They need to get moving. They're going to start heading over to the B site. Dregs is going to be all alone to try and take on the onslaught. Swinging out, sees one, finds the kill, sees another, trying to defy the bomb plant. 11 seconds now, they've got to get on the bomb site, they've got to get that bomb down. Drakes drops him, the bomb's too far away from the site. He may not get there, he won't get there. And now he's got to try and find the kills. HD Tempo puts him in the grave, and it's now 7-3. Oh man, that round was looking so winnable for the Sirens, especially after that first pick, but I think they just played themselves and slowed too far down. I mean, it makes sense. I see what they were trying to do there by hanging out in Cat because Team Kill have been so aggressive on the CT side. They got the one pick. They were waiting to get another to secure that advantage and go off of it. But then the contact out B just not working out. And we see now here it's a B rush with a minimal Ooh. line. Oh, no. Oh, no. The pro oh, 90. no. The pro 90. Drake's finds two. Xander will take him down, but HD Tempo trades him out. Trying to get the bomb down, fakes the plan. Sticking window is HD Tempo with the rifle. Samus drops him. Now trying to find another headshot, but it won't matter. Two kills and no bomb plant. Not what ATL needed in this eco round. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I feel like a bomb plant could have happened there. Uh, again, I don't know. I, I was trying to pay attention. I don't... I, again, I think it could, but I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, that really sucks because your utility isn't great. They do have an AWP and four rifles, so strong firepower here, but Siren's looking to at least post 8-4. We'll have to see an invader. They finally win the long fight. On the very last round of the first half, Invader's got himself a double kill. Tuffy beats out the up shot from Samus, and now Germ is the only man left to defend the A-bomb site. Nade onto ramp, Molly onto site, finds the first headshot. It's Invader trying to take them all down. He does. Germ drops Rocket as well, trying to find that last headshot. Has the USP shot as well, but Tuffy comes in with the AK to save the day. And now it's Samus in a one versus three. Won't find the quick scope. Tuffy is there, makes the play, and is 20 and five in this first half. Oh my goodness. Absolutely popping off. And Dregs, too, 13 and six. I mean, just wonderful stuff here from Team Kill. And props to Beta Xander in this first half to try and get the team going. But uh, unfortunately, not enough. Three, only three for the sirens now what can they do here on the ct side they kind of got pushed in the question is can they do the pushing now that they're on the ct side uh, 1488 damage look at that yeah we'll I just have to see uh you know atl they're gonna need i mean Let's face it, they're definitely going to have to make some adjustments if they want to win this game. We'll see how their defense pans out. Dregs pushing out of tunnels. Beta Xander finds one falling. That's a good start. Invader's got two. And Beta Xander cannot make it a second. Germ drops. Rockin' Invader has got to try and hang onto the site. Alex to fall off will allow them the plant. Tubby's got a tech nine. Germ has the bomb, fakes the plant, expecting aggression. Nothing there. Tubby spams the smoke. Germ starts to plant safe. 
Now the bomb does go down. 40 seconds left. Swinging out. Finding one. And they find the second as well. Samus with a quick double kill. Combines with Invader to take the round win for ATL. And a great absorbing of the B pressure there. Obviously, Team Kill with the hot hand so far in this map. Trying to accelerate that with a good old-fashioned B rush on Dust2. Unfortunately for them, it did not work out. But again, if you're an ATL fan, that's what you want to see. And now look at that. They've got guns. Oh, Tovi with the DC. Looks he like. has disconnected. Will pause. we get a tech pause? No, it appears they want to see nope. this round out. No timeout taken. They appear to be fairly confident in this 4v5. Bomb gets dropped near long as the initial util begins to come out. Now, because they got bomb plant down, all good is able to force this. They could very easily break the bank of the opponent right now. ATL is definitely not out of the woods yet. Minute and a half left to go. Spams a little bit. Rockin', who's 3 and 11 tonight, trying to find that kill in top mid. Nothing doing. Smoke will prevent him from seeing now, and Kaladex, as a result, is able to catch Samus off guard. Dregs with the AK, tries to find a spray. No can do. Kaladex taking big damage for Car. It's Invader with the A1S, but Germ will take him down with a quick headshot. And now, with a minute to go, three versus three as Beta Xander is mollied off. Catwalk is smoked. Th all three pushing from CT. One team, one fight. Together. Third of the time. Off the bomb. They're going to try and boost up to boxes. He's got him. Germ goes down. Beta Xander catches him off guard. Kaladex has to worry about multiple angles. He goes down as well. Dregs tries to be the hero. But he is not in the storybook. Rockin takes him down. Finds the defuse and cuts the lead to four. I will say though... From starting off as a 5v4, that got pretty scary pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> they did have the bomb down from Team Kill so that they could afford that AK on Dregs and also the Galil on Germ, which ended up having really big impact. Uh, obviously, even with Tovi out in it. Are they continuing without Tovi? Oh my okay. goodness. Breaking news, Toby wow. has to go. Will be unable to finish the game with all good. And after this big development, Drake finds one with the R8. HD Tempo takes the head of Invader. And now it is Germ left all alone. God, I hate those new weapon charms. Look at the charm. All right, <laughs> dude, it so looks so funny. horrible. Uh, got a little minute, mini minute 22, minute 22 left to go. <laughs> Oh, oh, my oh there it is. <laughs> I, that thing is impossible to take seriously. I like when they put it on the end of the barrel. It's so dumb. I, you're you're either a, a charm enjoyer or you're a charm hater. There there is no in between. I just I, I just hate pointless cash grabs when the game needs a functional anti cheat. Fifty six seconds left to go now. Fair charm. enough. Hanging out in Longhouse. Beta Xander looks pretty set up to get this kill, all things considered. They've got a pretty good crossfire set up. And Germ will walk right into it. Beta Xander takes him down. And the gap is now cut to three. ATL, after that stunning revelation, uh, it doesn't appear that Allgood has anyone on the depth chart that's able to replace Tevi, so they will be continuing in 4v5, which means as a result, ATL could very well win this game. Yeah, that's like your top fragger star player at least in this map has to dip out and the gap is closing very quickly and i would argue that ct side especially when you automatically start with a 5v4 is a lot easier maybe the T side would be we'll have well, to see that's not true ct side 4v5 would be awful i lied a minute 30 a minute 30 Five. I think Invader saw one. Might have seen him flash through the smoke. Tried to turn at the last second, but wasn't effective. Dregs, as a result, is able to get through the doors. I think Invader is paranoid. As the rest of the team makes their way up cat in the four versus five. 
Minute 10 left to go now. Is I'm really not sure what Drex is trying to accomplish here. Yeah. As Germ takes a small bit of damage, so does Invader. Invader, who was 3-11 and 11 the last time we checked on him, is now up to 9-14. and 14. 54 seconds now. CT smoke is effective, but Invader is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Dregs pushes up against the util. Tony J expecting a push from Tunnels. Finds one coming through window. It's Tempo. Finds another. Dregs hits the deck. And now, 37 seconds. He's got to try and find the play. Kaladex takes him down to the box, but Rockin will slide in to save the day. 7 to 9, your new score. And I was about to say that stall out in cat just chilling in mid did not work out for the sirens clearly didn't work out well for team kill here that's uh not exactly what you want to see i'm and not entirely sure what the idea is behind the stall out in mid maybe someone with better game knowledge than myself can uh let me know but i don't know it just it seems that it kind of gets crunched on a lot unless you have a lurker out B door or out uh, A doors or out B tunnels or something like that. At least watching to make sure that the CTs don't get aggressive, but the stall out cat just not working there for them, unfortunately. We'll have to see what they decide to go with after this timeout. You'll have to see. Again. Game getting very, very close now. ATL season could very well depend on this game. Yeah. All things considered, minute 45 left to go. It's once again all good, left with naught but pistols. Try and take on the rifles. Invaders getting aggressive. Look like he wanted to play in front of that smoke for a second. With a minute and a half, now Cat gets smoked. It's Samus. That smoke is going to stall them just a little bit. That molly behind it is certainly going to cause problems, but it just barely gets knocked away. The nade might cause problems. No, it does minimal damage. So Samus throws duds on two out of the three pieces of utility. Another smoke to protect their outing. A molly behind it could be a problem, but it's not. It gets extinguished. Rocket trying to find the open field kill. Has two. Looking for three with a deagle. Won't find it. Germ gets the kill. Samus whips this first spray, but nails the second. And that will make a very quick cleanup. And Rockin the only man to go down there. And the lead is now just one. And I think that was always the plan, the way that Samus played that, just chilling in Goose. I couldn't see who that was on ramp, but either way, just a great decision by Rockin to just, you know, especially after you get those first two, you realize, oh, they're executing all of Cat. It's an eco, so great hold by the Sirens, and now it's just a one-round game here in this uh, 4v5. Yeah, we'll just have to see. Minute 40 to go now. Dregs hanging out lower tunnels. That smoke could potentially become a problem. Rockin is aware, sends the nade down to get some vision. And diving back at the very last second was Dregs trying to stay hidden. Now he will be smoked off. Flash is there trying to find his way out by himself. Again, trying to find these 1v1 fights, I don't think is the answer for all good. So now they're down 3v5. And ATL is trying to stay passive. Stay conservative enough that they do not give up an overextension play. Well, especially if... Like you mentioned, Team Kill is just going to slowly take these 1v1 fights. They're not even going to play together. Is uh, that the plan? Well, um, I'm, I'm really not sure where that was supposed to end up at all, if it, I'm, if it I'm being honest. Like it was. I mean, hey, it worked out. Well, it, it did. I, I think it was supposed to be an Xbox smoke. I think that's where it was supposed mm. to land. Okay. 24 seconds. Tony J, the man to take first contact. Beta Xander is now in position. The last second cat execute is called off with 16 seconds. They're going to catch him off guard. And Kaladex finds one. 
Will not find the second. Tony J drops Germ through the wall. Eight seconds, seven seconds. The bomb's got to get on the site. They got to start planning. Tries to stick it. Won't happen. They all come in to clean up, and we've got ourselves a tie game. I think that play that play really works if you... I think it was... Was it Dregs? A player on Team Kill had a smoke when they called off the cat... As soon as you call off that cat play, I think you smoke CT and that then you end up crunching onto the B site because you saw the B site was unaware. That was uh, Samus who was turning towards B tons with that AWP. So there was a potential to catch the B players off guard. Will they do it again? It's going to be a B rush here. Oh, gets oh, one, gets Sanders two. Sanders got it. Oh my goodness. Going for the third. Dregs makes the play. Germs takes down Rockin'. The B site's undefended. It's just Samus who gets the molly down at the last second. And that looks like it will be the end of that short burst of excitement. Finally, some life between these two teams. Smoke goes out, will block Samus's view just barely. Oh, but he's gonna walk right into the crosshair that Smoke did not land where he thought it did. And now it's Germ alone, one versus three. Flash comes out, is ineffective. Finds the only gap in the smokes and Invader stares him down and drops him. So ATL go on at double digits. And even if they do win this game, there's gonna be a very big asterisk next to this. Um, because, you know, the man who was 22 and seven uh, disappeared after the first round of the second half. Yeah, so literally. that's, <laughs> it's going to be very, very hard to feel any kind of confidence boost kind of takes the wind out of your sails. Honestly, when you think to yourself like, yeah, we came back from nine to three, but it was against a four V five, you know, and we were on defense. Like that, that's, that's gotta be so frustrating for ATL and they swing out trying to find the long fights. That certainly isn't gonna help. Invader will take one as a consolation prize. Beta Xander burns Kaladex alive. HD Tempo now, is he gonna fall back or is he gonna commit? Looks like he wants to commit to the pit here. I'm gonna find one on the edge of the smoke. Takes a little bit of spam, he might have seen him. Minute 24 left to go as the molly reigns in for Goose. Invader on the other side of sight. Trying to peek over the top of the smoke. Will try and find the fight. Will do so successfully. Doesn't manage to get the kill, but doesn't take any damage either. Minute eight left to go as the bomb makes its way up ramp. Not anymore. Samus takes him down, and it is a very quick kill for Invader to make it 11-9. I will say, even though if you're on the team kill side, I understand now your star player, they're out. Probably big mental boom, but you can't let that you like you just you have to play it you got to play the cards that you're dealt and in addition to that you need to play off of each other and i think it was two rounds ago they secured a 2v3 scenario and they both just like split up one person went b with the bomb the other person went lower tons so at the very least play together get these trades because if you can win on a site and secure it whether it's b whether it's a at the very least you're like gaining some economy and all that stuff because right now like this dregs just dying solo in mid and i mean it's true hd tempo here but like no one's there for trades yeah like you can't be playing a part in this situation you're already down a man i feel like just playing for the solo fights is not really gonna pan out the way you think it will that's a gorgeous flash hd tempo finds himself to one colin x cleans up for the second and finds the double as well Minute left go. to go as some real momentum starts to swing back in all goods favor. This game may not be over yet. If this smoke fades, we could potentially have ourselves a very interesting round on our hands. Invader, paranoid of long. They don't know where this second guy is. Kaladex falls back towards lower. Samus is paranoid of mid. Oh, we could get caught very off guard. The flash comes out. He slides in front of the doors. What a shot from Samus. Will unfortunately meet his end with Kaladex, who, who jumps across and does see Invader. So now it's a one versus one. This to put all good on double digits to give them their first round after eight unanswered ATL rounds. Flash does not go over the wall. Invader now swinging. Kaladex misses the shot. Got the count to need out. And it doesn't matter. Kaladex takes the second peak and it pays off. Double digits for all good. But see, then that's where it was. They started grouping up together after they lost that initial fight in mid. 
the two of them, I believe it was Kaladex and uh, was it Dregs or Germ? HD Tempo. I, I, either way, two players, they went through mid, they get that first kill onto the Doors player, immediately someone sets up for the CT guy, they trade out effectively, and they win the round, and it looks like they're going to go be here, four players, upper tons, an invader here to defend. What will they get done? He's got it. Had it locked down so far this game. 12 and 16, 70 ADR. Seven assists, smoke goes deep. Waiting on the play, now the smoke comes out. That molly lands in between them. That's a very, very good toss. Made it 18 left to go. Samus watching the mid cross back. They need an Xbox smoke if they're gonna make this work. Paranoid at top mid, but now he seems to understand that crossing lowers a real possibility. Gets the heck out of dodge, trying to live to fight another day. The flash comes in, but he might get Molly to death. He does. HG Tempo burns him alive, Ooh. and Kaladex with a gorgeous quick scope takes him down. But Rocket and Invader both find kills to make it a two v three. Now they've got mid control. Germ finds the flank. It's Tony J. Tony J has hit the deck. Rocket takes down Dregs. And now it's Germ in a one versus two with 40 seconds left. He's got an A1S full belt of util and bomb on his back. That was not a great flash. But he does have an opportunity to get this cross smoke down. And I think that's exactly what he will do. Flash is out. Rocket is ready. But will he be able to clock him? Germ. Oh, he didn't check. He didn't check all the way. And Rocket makes him pay for it. ATL the match point. Oh, man. Back and forth for team kill and Sirens. Sirens, of course, coming out on top. But you saw the potential there, especially with those two opening kills. And again, it's just great trades, great peaking. Two angles at the same time. One person takes one, one person takes another. You just make the call and go. It's what you need to do here in this four versus five scenario. Again, a bit unfortunate. Tovi had to go to work and look at that long out here. Dregs. Oh! Gets absolutely clocked by Invader. Rockin' and Peta Xander both finding kills. Kaladex and Germ trying to make it work, but it doesn't happen. ATL win this one 13 to 10. That's a and tough again, one. again, yeah, it's got a very big asterisk next to it because obviously of no Tovi, who was 22 and seven at the end of the first half. Um, but all things considered, ATL with that win have possibly put themselves in a position to make playoffs if the stars align. So it's not over for ATL just yet, but all things considered, they still have a long way to go. Yeah, especially with some of the teams that they're playing, LEC, HG, and BS all a little bit high. Or actually, I'm sorry, BS is down. BS and LEC are down there with them. So if they get those wins, then, uh, you know, they can push themselves up, hopefully into that playoff bracket spot later on in the season. And on the a AG side, team kill side, now that's looking rough for you. You're really hoping that, uh ups the foo fighter the fu fighters excuse me get uh get their loss tonight as well because then when you face them next week on tuesday you're trying you're more or less playing for their spot because in the standings anyways that's uh that's how it's shaping up so rough loss here for ag and again unfortunate that toby had to go Forcing them into that 4v5 because, I mean, a 9-3 half, that's that's what all good started with. And that's, yeah, that's, that's never, but I, I do want to say, and again, I think, I think they let the fact that their star player had to leave get to them just a little bit too much. I understand it's very difficult, but that being said, you noticed towards the end, like, yeah, they got one round, but that round that they got, was them playing together all the previous rounds they seemed just a little bit disjointed maybe they were trying to account for the fact that toby was no longer in the server so they felt that they themselves needed to get out there and you know force these fights but you didn't necessarily need to just group up together play as your remaining four players and you know like get that info get those angles and and just don't, don't isolate yourselves too much because ATL just pick you apart.
Or any All team, day, for every that day. Yeah, any, yeah, any team. Yeah. <clears throat> it's unfortunate, but that's the way it rolls. Both teams with much to learn after this game. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been myself and Atrax with CSC Season 15 Contender Match Day 5. Thank you so very much for coming out, and we will see you all next time.